All right, Paula, tell me what benefits you got from drinking ketones. Energy. Oh my gosh. That's been great. Energy, fat loss, um, better night's sleep. I've uh, lost my brain fog. Okay. Awesome. And I know that out there, you've been having some people that don't maybe haven't experienced that yet. And some people are noticing other things. Maybe their bowels are changed, or maybe they're noticing cramping or headaches or fatigue, things that they don't feel like this isn't working for me. I would like to help you address those. Um, if you'd be open to that, because we know that the benefits of what you felt are what people will feel once we work through some of these situations for them. So we want to do that with me. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. So what should we start with? Should we want to start with, should we start with headaches? Perfect. I'm going to actually lump headaches and fatigue together because they're probably co-related. Um, so especially if you live in the desert area, like Nevada, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Northern uh, Mexico also is a, an area, parts of Colorado, we find that people are struggling. They might have more headaches. Florida, we don't ever see it. Minnesota, we don't. We just don't see it over there. It's so rare, but we do in these areas. And the reason why is the demographic. You living in a desert, dehydration is more common, even if you drink a lot of water, because the same deserty area also uses a lot of filtrations because the water is imported in. It's not like you could just go tap into a, a river in Minnesota and drink the water, which is very mineralized, very good, very energetic. Bottled water is is not, it's mostly by Nestle and by Coca-Cola and they're controlling your hydration, which is probably not the best companies to be doing that. So we have to improve hydration. So this is the test. If you're, if you're noticing a headache or you're noticing fatigue, I want you to do this. You're gonna take one sixteenth of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt, real salt or Celtic salt. Those are my three favorites. And you're gonna take one sixteenth of a teaspoon in a shot of water, you're gonna drink it down. It's gonna taste salty. Drink it down. And then you're gonna do it again 30 minutes later. And I want you to see where your headache goes. Now you can also just drink some pickle juice. See if your headache goes away. If you notice your energy levels come back up or your headache changes, that tells me that your hydration level is more concerning. So that means we need to work on it more aggressively. We need to add a little bit more sea salt to your foods, the right forms, like I just mentioned. We need to be uh, make sure you have prove it's uh, electrolytes, the Mitoplex, and you have two of those a day. And they're formulated for our product. They're a really good product. They have a lot of good things for the brain and cellular turnover. So those are the things that you want to address from hydrations and headaches. Most commonly, I mean, ketones have been shown to improve headaches, and if that makes any sense. So there's a lot of huge cognitive benefits. If you're getting a headache, it's probably more linked to dehydration. And energy is also linked to dehydration. So we just have to amplify dehydration. Now, this is good. If this, if this is, if we find that it's you're dehydrated. Once you get your body hydrated on a regular basis, your results go up by 300% because now everything in your body can work better. And you're probably walking around right now dehydrated. You have been for the last year or two. So we need to address this. And this is a great thing for us to be able to solve. So that's, that's what I would say about dehydration. Nice little test. We just got to start increasing everything, but start with that test. It'll tell us a lot. And then from there, you can, you can improve over time. Okay, perfect. What about um, loose stools? Loose stools. Okay. So what happens with the bowels? So the funny thing is it could be loose or slow stools, awesome. right? Both things can happen. The most common reason why people have stool changes is mostly because they change their diet. Any kind of dietary change, like especially if it's extreme, if you take somebody that goes from a meat eater to a vegetarian, they're going to have loose stools because their bowels have changed a lot or they're, they're going to get constipated, right? Or anybody that cuts out a lot of processed food, their bowels are going to change. So that's the first thing I want you to keep in mind is if your stools are a little sensitive and they're not and they're changing quickly, what we want to do is don't change your diet dramatically. Start with phases. Take time to get there because ultimately you're going to learn more. Now, the second thing I want you to think about is we have minerals in our product. Those minerals are important, partly for hydration, but also delivering ketones to your body. But minerals themselves, if you drink them really fast, they can cause weight through your bowels. So what you want to do is you want to start, you might have to start with a half a serving. You might have to cut from a full to a half for a while till your gut gets healthier and your diet gets better. Um, you might drink a half a serving and then the other half in the afternoon. If you're drinking a full serving, what you want to do is slow down the rate of drinking it. So what I would tell you to do is use less water and it'll be a little bit more sweet, but instead of using 20 ounces, maybe you use 16 or 12 ounces and then drink that over 30 minutes. And what happens is you don't have as much weight and much fluid going through your bowels all at one time. And that slows down the transit time. So that's a simple thing to do. At the same time, what we want to do for improving gut health is probiotics 
and prebiotics. So probiotics are things like yogurt, Greek yogurt, if you're dairy, okay with dairy or get a probiotic pill that you can take. Greek yogurt works great if you can do dairy. Um, also has high protein in it. And then also you want to do high fiber vegetables. So high fiber vegetables also helps create bacteria, which is what our gut helps our stools come through. So if your bacteria is low, your stools are going to get loose. So we have to slow that process down. Um, so those are the couple little tips around the gut health. You can get more involved in that if you have underlying gut issues, but those are the things that you're going to want to start with to help help with the transit time of, of the bowels if they're getting loose. If they're, if they're backed up, just drink the product faster. I'm just kidding. If they're backed up, what you, oh, last little tip about loose stools. If you're taking extra magnesium, we have magnesium in our product. So you might reduce any other products that you're taking that might loosen the stools like magnesium supplements. You don't need that because you have it in our product or any like metalusal, metamusals or any other extra fibers that are for constipation, just cut those back because our product will cover a lot of those things already. Okay, wonderful. What about um, sleepless? Like if they're having a hard time sleeping because I had great sleeps. Right, yeah, so ketones, we we work with firefighters and we've seen the improvement of sleep. I take ketones right before bed. Um, the biggest thing about sleep is is that what happens with sleep, if your brain's been slowed down for a long time, especially when you're just starting out, it's waking up your brain. And that's different. People aren't used to that. Maybe their brain's been stimulated, they're more focused. So I always tell people, if you're somebody that's getting more focused from ketones, don't work on projects before you go to bed. You gotta focus on going to sleep because you'll just work. It's what I did when I started. My wife's like, you can't keep doing this. You got to rest. But I was so focused. I just kept doing more work. So you want to turn off the TV. You want to get things out of your brain to let it slow down. Um, ketones are vital for sleep help. Now, the other part of that is we have caffeine and caffeine free. If you're caffeine sensitive and you have caffeine too close to bed, well, that's going to impact your sleep too. So just start moving your caffeine to the earlier side. Um, so have it earlier in the day. Uh, I mess up that sometimes I have a caffeine one at five o'clock in the afternoon and I don't sleep until midnight. Well, that's on me, <laughs> but yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Great. Okay. Thank you. There's one more though. I thought that you said swelling. Water? Yeah. I think we're taking yeah. water. I think you had mentioned that earlier. So retaining water, um, there's a few effects that are happening there. It's mostly hydration based. Um, what we find is increasing your potassium levels will ultimately help that um, the most. But when you get retaining water, you basically your your intercellular hydration's off. You're basically water is staying in one area; it's not transferring to the other area. That's partly tells me that your health is not awesome. Um, you've had underlying health challenges probably for a long time, so you have to be more patient, and you're going to have to be on this journey longer to see the effects. It's going to be more towards the 60 days to get the full effect versus 40 days because your starting place wasn't great. So and that's most people in America, by the way. Potassium is one of the things that I like you increase. So drinking keto, keto nat is great. You start with one a day. You can definitely over time work up to more than that. But you're going to want to make sure you have at least two electrolytes a day. That, that potassium will help. But I'd also recommend you to do is increase your avocado, green or bell peppers or green peppers. All have a lot of potassium in there. If you're trying to lose weight, you're probably not going to want to have a banana or two a day. So use those instead of bananas. If you're just for performance, you can have a banana. Banana will help also. But don't go to like Gatorades and sports drinks. Those things are not that good for us. So let's leave those alone and use the Mitoplex as our hydration tool and give it time. Because what will happen as your body starts to release fat and it starts to dump, you're going to notice the, the, the whooshing effect happen. You're going to flush out a lot of water, pee a lot. Maybe bowels will move a little bit more. And then what will end up happening, it's going to balance itself out. So if you're patient and you work through that, it'll completely change your life forever. My sister, it took her eight weeks. My sister was not a health health nut when we started. It took her eight weeks. Her scale didn't move dramatically or close to it a little bit better over eight weeks. Her body was just going through these shifts and changes. She's now down 100 pounds and has maintained it for seven years, six and a half years. And so, and she lives her life to the fullest, never worried about weight again. Because she just worked through these things that were not working very well. She lives in Colorado where hydration was definitely a big problem for us because it's high elevation, very dry. And so we had to increase her electrolytes. And that was really important for her. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, hey, guys, listen, um, we're super excited about your journey. And I just tell people, be patient on this process. We're focused on your health. If weight loss is your goal or we want to burn body fat, we want to teach you how to live your life when you get there. 
And all these little fad programs that are out there right now uh, or medical-based programs aren't necessarily focused on your health. They're focused on a scale. And the scale is not a measurement of your health. We will get your, your, your results in, I promise you. If you commit to this journey, you'll change your life forever. But more important, you'll learn how to live your life so that you can enjoy and become the example for the people you care about the most and actually love yourself for who you are and, and learn how to eat better, not perfect, but eat better, how to move more and how to think clearer about how your health is. And that's what our real goal is, is not to just lose weight on a scale. Our goal is to help you live your life to the fullest. So, and that's what ketones are a big part of. So thanks. Thanks, Paula. Thank you.